So, so when you look at it, connect up, connect up with those who are putting God. If you want your life to go down a path of blessedness, freshness, that's what I like. People say, well, how do you just shake it off? You know, pastor, don't stay mad. I get irritated. My, listen, my irritation lasts longer than my madness. Because generally when I'm irritated, it's something connected to ministry. And it's a disappointment from perhaps certain people or a person that's supposed to have done something for God. But when I realize that they didn't do it, it's not because they was trying to do it for God, but perhaps they was focused on doing it for me. And the irritation comes in that how do I get people to stop trying to do it for me and do it for God? Don't come to church for me. Pastor, expect to see me there. But you come to worship because you come to meet God in this place. So listen, listen. Are, are y'all listening? Are y'all listening? I need y'all to listen good on this. We're going to tell if y'all listening. Listen, we cannot surround ourselves with worldly people. Say why? Mm. Because when they all walk away from, hypothetically speaking right now, y'all not godly people. Y'all got that part, right? Because I had to preface this by telling you. Hypothetically speaking. Y'all, so so, so, so y'all got to understand what I'm saying. So we cannot surround ourselves with worldly people because when they all walk away from it. Oh, when they all walk away from it. Now, don't go far now. (laughs) When they all walk away from you, guess what? You're left with a lot of empty seats. If y'all didn't get comfortable, don't go far. I I, I got to, y'all got to have my back pretty soon again. (laughs) They didn't win, win and cross their feet. So when... When they all, if you surround yourself with worldly people, and it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. They will walk away from you. Some people say, well, people in the world, they treat you better than the people in the church. That's because some of the ones you're dealing with in the church are still of the world. And they giving you a perception that everybody in the church is messed up. But people that really have a heart for God, that's about kingdom business, that are kingdom minded, they'll never leave you. Oh, God. The reason why they'll never leave you, because it's really not about you. But it's about the spirit that lives in you. That's what makes you so magnetic. But if you surround yourself with worldly people, if you go through a stage in your life where you was Miss Popular and Mr. Popular and everybody want to be around you because you had the, uh, uh, the most pure uh, Keisha Cole that they make, Then you're going to attract all the Keisha Cole smokers because you got the good stuff. And if you catch you midstream of the puff, puff, give, then you might get in on a free puff. Now, I know we don't have no Keisha Cole smokers. I don't even know if they still sell Keisha Cole. Kush, I knew somebody knew. Amen. I knew. Praise God. That's why there's a healing in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Healing, healing in this place. It's healing. <laughs> Look. <laughs> so, so now, now, so I need you to listen. When you start, when you get in this place of emptiness, mm, hear me good now. When you get in this place of emptiness and you get like the prodigal son and you come to yourself, God will start sending you godly people who will begin to surround you. Oh, boy, they got it now, don't they? Look at them. And they will come from every direction 
to support the purpose whereas God has for your life. And before you know it, all those empty seats that the enemy had vacated <laughs> is filled up with the people of God who will never leave you. Now, if you get a crazy spirit on you, you may leave them because you still have the choice to walk out of people's life. You still have the choice to walk out of relationships, even your relationship with the holy. For some people to say, well, I don't, I don't understand that. Well, you did volunteer to have this walk with Christ. The scripture says that no man can pluck you out. So when you are in God's hands, guess what? The, the enemy can pull all he wants. But God has you. God has you. But if you choose while the enemy is pulling on you with whatever old man schemes and devices that he had you in back in the day, if you choose to connect up with him and walk with him again, that's a choice that you have made. And you have, at that very moment, walked out of your relationship with the holy. I don't know why people don't understand that. He said, then it says, uh, People say, well, there's no more condemnation in Romans. But you got to read the rest of the scripture. For those who are in Christ, if you stay in Christ, this is in Christ. But when you walk out, come on, you put yourself in a whole different arena. Oh, Y'all receiving that? Yes. 